Hey everyone, back again with this week's Rift, and it is Light Week. Oops, apologies for that. As I was saying, it's Light Week, and today we will be facing... Mm, I can't re actually remember who I chose. Ah, Surge! El Tal Sergio. Great, great player, with a pretty good base. And... Okay. I chose his base because it's triple light week I mean it's light week and so I I try to pick bosses with like the same element as the week that it's that the modifier is in just for like to get the theme and stuff so it's light week which means we have holy night but infected flesh here is the real game changer and there's hexing time block boss and last words so pretty standard light boss last words with assassin's greed ooh Okay, okay, okay. And don't poke the bear, block busted. Hmm. Yeah, I, sure, I really think pain wheel in this particular node is really powerful because dash attacks are unblockable and it's really difficult to um, intercept with pain wheel. And then here we have a Robo Fortune node. This this modifier, Exquisite Corpse, is actually really, really annoying. Because Thorns is just such a good buff for the defense. The standard uh, Rogue Fortune node, they try to kill you with like laser beams. So you try to like kill them before that. And there's uh, Return to Center Frost Armor with Inertia. Pretty standard node. And another Don't Poke the Beer with Buzzkill. Alright. I'm gonna start with the Assassin's Greed. Now, Assassin's Creed. I'm gonna try. I think a double is the best to use. Sort of darkness. Just making sure my moves are set. Yep. So I'm just gonna try to hex her like when when she's in her, like nearing death. Just so that I can remove, I can kill her with a blockbuster without getting punished. Oh shoot. Uh, no, nope, not happening. I didn't really want to waste time. And I already lost like 25% HP from that. Oof. I was trying to maximize my score. Because I lost like 84 points from that, just from a single mortuary drop. Damn. If she didn't have that, I was planning to like just will her down and then hex her with my um, Heart of Darkness skill. Anyway... Pain wheels, looking at Firefly, it's usually tainted. So I'm probably gonna bring a Valentine here. Assassin's Greed is always my best bet against. Just because of how tanky she is. Maybe I'll bring a Rusty in case that one of them happens to have grudge. And I think that's fine. Oh, block busted, okay. Yeah, so it is tainted. Oh, oh god, I just intercepted. Ah, okay, okay. Oh, what's this? It's also tainted, damn. Shoot. Shoot. 
So I'm just using a lot of burst to like, because that's my defensive set, and I just want. <laughs> I'm kind of lazy to use. Uh, I'm a bit lazy to change my move set, and bleeding is pretty. It's a pretty good strat anyway. Ah. That's not gonna kill me. Like, look at that. Assassin's Creed is so good. I got got hit by BB3, and I only like what chipped ten percent of my health. Did waste a bit of time though, that which is unfortunate. But probably if I change my moves a bit to something. Thing is, uh, Counter Venom doesn't really do anything against Pain Wheel with Doom Poke the Bear. So I probably would have changed to Checkmate Incision for the multi hit and all the bleeds. So I could definitely improve on that one. Uh, Electrostatic Shield, oh, that's annoying. Block wasn't to be precise. Uh, I'm gonna have to use a Parasol here. But my go my go to is usually claw and order. Misfortune. I'm gonna bring this. Where where is it? Ah, my Valentine, just in case. Valentine. And claw and order is good because it if you it immediately resets your opponent's special moves on cooldown, so I don't have to worry about the lasers. Because that's the biggest. Um, Biggest thing you need to worry about when it when you when it comes to Rogue of Fortune, especially if they have Curse of Knowledge, which for good thing that they don't. But if they do, then you won't get the Trauma Center from the Valentine support that you bring. So a single laser could knock you out, which is quite dangerous. So I claw in order, and what do I need to but precise block busted? I don't really know what should I bring. Maybe. No, I, I might need the prime. Silent kill. Silent kill would probably be good. No, but then the electrostatic shield. Does it inflict power? Inverse polarity, yo, so I can't use it. Hmm. Bloodbath, maybe? Let me just recheck the map again. Not busted, the heck time, last words. Holy night. I think I'm gonna take a risk here. I kinda wanna save Bloodbath for... Dreadlocks, probably. So I'm just gonna use this. Star crossed. The only reason I'm using her is just because I might need Prime for the boss node as well. So, Star Cross is like my go to when I kind of need a Prime but not really because I want to save the Prime for something else. I'm just using Star Cross for her base power, honestly. Maybe her skill could proc, I don't know. I don't really depend on it that much. This should eliminate the special moves. Okay, cool. Oh shoot, no, mm, I shouldn't attack. Oh, nice. Oh shoot, oh, I forgot. Crap. No, no, why did I do that? Okay. 
Okay, that was good. I got a bit distracted because someone called me. That, I think that was pretty clean. Not as clean as I hoped because I messed up with the thorns a bit. But I'll take that, I'll take that. Actually, time last was block busted. Um, so triple node, you can, I've seen people clear it with doublicious, and personally, it is possible. But dread, I'm scared with dreadlocks for doublicious, and that's all, folks. Kind of reduces the crit rate, right? So I don't really like using doublicious for that because of that like two reasons dreadlocks you need you kind of have to depend on the hex from the bandwagon to prevent the, the reflag and the crit reduction from vessel folks is really annoying so you can't chaos as much as you'd like that's why you usually just go with pear soul so much simpler so much faster and if you haven't like seen how I play then you can if you've seen how I play, then you should know that I'm <laughs> I'm not a very patient person. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And this game actually requires a lot of patience. Especially with like finding openings and stuff. Sometimes it's worth to just block for a few extra seconds to get that opening and clear the opponent. Of course, I often fail at that. See? Oh. Cool, that's where it's proc. Oh, the heck is gonna proc some... Ooh. So I don't really mind the re reflect damage because I can heal them all back up with Valentine and Bloodbat's own skill. Oh, this is taking too long. She wasn't dying. Whoa. Oh, God. Part of the reason why I brought that position was for this, so I can hit that old folks without fucking her. I should have intercept. Thank god she didn't use a BB3. I was a bit stunned there. Ah, oh, that was so unoptimal. I'm sorry guys, I'm a bit distracted today. Okay, so this one, definitely I've, I'm saving somersault for this. Somersault. I just can't think of a better way to clear Frost Armor RTS without Somersault. I mean, I think if I have a Fly Trap, it'll be really good. About like a possible solution, but I don't have a Fly Trap, unfortunately. Oh, that's weird. What did this come back? Um, let's create your shift. Okay, so I'm using Graveyard Shift for the heal, the heavy re re regen, regen, because I don't really mind the frost armor usually when I play, I just like keep on attacking them and maybe like block a bit until it, until the f armor is gone from Somersault's own buff. They usually just like brute force through it, it's, I don't, it's probably not the best way to uh, handle it.
Okay. So that went down pretty easily. Ah. Uh, his HP is in, isn't very invested. Mm. Oh shoot. I took the chance. I lost a bit of HP, but I took the chance. This is why I feel like it's a bit of a shame to put Plot Twisted in a second into double nodes. I mean, it's still strong, it forces people to use Somersault, but you're really losing out a lot on the HP bonus. And with the thorns and frost armor, you're really depending on that reflect damage, so you want to get as much HP, HP as possible. Actually, one of the players in my list this time before I pick Surge had like, both players actually had like triple plot twisted. And I was like, oh, I'm not ready to face that one yet. Maybe someday I'll try it. Maybe in Water Week, if I face them again, I'll try it. But not today, because today is Light Week. And. I'm, I kind of want to say it's Grudge, so I'm going to bring a Bio Exorcist. Pretty standard squiggly set. Well, blocking the last loose one. Okay, that's fine. Rupture is actually pretty annoying, actually. Actually, this week's modifiers are like, I think Light Week is pretty well designed. After I think, after going through like, what cycle? Is this the second cycle? Yeah. I think Air and Light Week is fine. The others are still a bit of in the air. I can't even remember what they did, but Air and Light is still definitely the strongest. Not just for the boss notes, but what for like. The others triple and double nose as well. Oh yeah, Scrudge, sorry about that. Oops. Can I intercept with this? Probably not. Oh. Oh shoot! Mm. Okay, that went okay. That wasn't actually a very good play. <laughs> okay. 4.4. That's pretty good. And we're ending up with... Dun dun dun... 13.4, which is pretty good, pretty good score. Alright, so... One day I will face these guys' base. Look, triple plot twisted. Triple plot twisted. Scary, scary, scary. I think that's probably... One of the scariest base I've ever seen, but I will face them someday... Later. One day, I will. And maybe I'll record it as well. But anyway, guys, thanks. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Sorry if I sound a bit tired or um, a bit distracted, because I am. Because I'm not in my house right now. I'm in someone else's. But anyway, yep, that's all for today. Thanks, guys. And I'll see you later.